right. Hello, hello everyone. Hello adventurers. Welcome to our community stream. I'm going to be your host for tonight. This is James. And hello, hello, hello guys. How y'all doing? Hopefully you're all having a wonderful evening for tonight. Hello Kai. Hello Aldrix, Brile, uh, MG, Kelsen. What's up guys? How y'all doing? But as you can see, you know, I'm not a uh, PNG right now or JPEG, <laughs> thankfully. But uh, yeah, okay. All right. So let me explain to you guys our agenda for tonight. So we are going to have um, kind of a class spotlight for tonight, all right? And we are going to have some mini games. So this is a different kind of mini game for for now for today, and yeah, basically that's it. But for tonight, of course, we have our class spotlight. Our chosen class for tonight is the ranger, ranger job class, and for that one, we have a very special guest, one of our ROGGH official streamers, Psyche PH. Psyche, say hello. Please introduce yourself. Psyche. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hello. Oh, I just scared James a little. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. Please introduce yourself, Psyche. Uh, hello. I I'm Psyche. As James mentioned, I've been playing this game for a year now, streaming this game also for a year. Uh, I think not much more introduction from me. I play free to play, free to play. Uh... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, if you guys know Saiki, all right, he's uh, joining us for uh, tonight's uh, class spotlight. So, we are going to talk about uh, the Ranger class for tonight. And uh, if you want to see him, uh, you know, see him actually doing stuff and being live, you can check out his page or check out his um, streaming page, which I will show to you guys in a bit later on. You can hear the lo-fi music in the background. Hello, Rhyme. What's up? Muchi, what's up? And hopefully you're all having a wonderful day tonight. Psyche, how are you tonight, though? Uh, just got off from work and kind of so-so. Not so bad, not so good. Just uh -huh. a regular day. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully you all will have uh, better days or better nights ahead, right? For the following days. Yeah. All right. So, uh, let's talk about the Ranger class because um, I've been watching some of your streams, Psyche, and, uh, you know, uh, I've been seeing that you've been playing the Ranger class for a lot and for a long time now. So, please introduce us to the Ranger class and, uh, you know, what is a Ranger class for you? Uh, based on my experience, Ranger is, like, the only character... For me, uh, this is a biased uh, description where <laughs> you can get like uh, decent damage with low uh, input on items. Because uh, there are like Mora gears which helps uh, our uh, ranger specifically. Ooh. And speaking of ranger skills, uh, Arrow Storm is somewhat broken where it has like 13 by 13 or 11 by 11 uh, AoE, which only costs you like. 10 arrows and damage mods are very high. Ooh. Okay, so basically you're saying that uh, Ranger is a very much a free to play friendly character because of all the in game items that you have currently, right? Uh, yes, if you uh, if you you're just diligent enough to do like daily grind, daily farms, mm -hmm. you're more you could like self sufficient. Oh, all right. <laughs> Actually, if you do want to drop down some Ranger questions in the chat, you can uh, easily do so. You know, the, ch the chat is open right there. Just drop your Ranger questions. We can address them in a bit. Or if we know the answer to those questions. And, uh, you know, uh, as a Ranger main, Psyche is here to join us. Maybe we can all help you out in uh, finding out the problems you are facing with using a Ranger class. But... All right. So let's actually get the first question in. What can you expect? pet from a ranger or playing as a ranger class uh 
you can basically carry your friends early game. Like I'm Ooh. when I say early game, like level 100 something, which is partly the main reason why I started uh, Ranger on the server. Because mm -hmm. uh, most of my friends are like WoW centric, and they don't really like Shuras, for example, can't really help in grindings. So it was like my job to like help them. So that's um, that's where like Ranger shine mostly in the early game. And if you have like if you have like deep pockets, you could definitely like shine more late game also. <laughs> oh, but okay, yeah, yeah. Maybe you can shine a bit, little bit more if. Uh, the reasons you stated is uh, possible for the players, yeah? Alright, so G Gabriel said here, Psyche Carry! <laughs> so I I'm assuming Gabriel is one of your friends here who you actually carried? Yes, yes. <laughs> Alright, we have a question uh, from Kai. When Third Jobs was released, it was said the meta was for Ranger. Mostly for rangers. Oh, uh, yeah, mostly for rangers. They even called the game Ranger Ranger Narok Online. Really though, was there a time that um, ROGGH was really called Ranger Narok Online, or when Third Jobs was released? Uh, I didn't know that. On the early stages of like Third Job releasing, they for WoW, for example, everybody like main Ranger because of, like. The da you have no limits which increase your damage for like 300% huge oh. AOE again as I mentioned and people weren't really aware of like redux in range so unlike before re rangers really like shined a lot mm -hmm. okay all right so um but still uh, based on the current meta of ROGGH or the items that we have right now you know ranger is still a very proficient class to use right yes 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 uh okay so let's actually talk about more about the builds of the ranger as you can see guys i <laughs> i leveled up this character to 991 just barely becoming a ranger or just i just became a ranger last night all right uh and yeah to actually you know, better showcase the class more. Unfortunately, you know, I don't have the skills and necessary um, stats to actually show you the, the builds that we have. But yeah, um, for the Ranger class, let's talk about the builds first. So what are the builds for the Rangers that, you know, uh, are currently good to use? There's, uh, there's only two that are, like, mainstream, but there are more, like... Two, two is uh, is like Arrow Storm and Crit. Mm -hmm. uh, Arrow Storm could carry you like from early stage to late game. Uh, crit is where it really shines on late game. You don't really you don't want to do crit early stages because you're like you don't have enough stats and you're like missing out on Arrow Storm, which is like the the number one thing you'd like to be using grinding wise. Then some like niche builds like trappers aren't. Are, is a build but not much like items that could like help with it currently oh. aim bolt is also like one of the things that like makes ranger shine but we have like the free rework version so it, oh, it, it's okay. still good but it's not as good compared to like the rework version one mm -hmm. so so you're basically saying like um you know arrow storm is a must-have skill for ranger despite uh, you know um in every build that you currently have or that you can currently do that we right. have items for in the server right now uh, if you hover your skill three james to no limits which is the number one must have skill mm -hmm. uh, you'd see that arrow storm is also a prerequisite so if that's why i mentioned that even if you are like playing ranger i mean uh, critical build critical ward you'd still be getting uh, Arrow Storm. Mm. So why not get it to like level 10 and use it as a leveling uh, leveling skill? Oh, okay. So that you don't need to reset in the future, right? Mm -hmm. For that one. But I, I've been seeing some snipers and hunters, you know, go for the trapper build early on in the game. Is that a very decent build if, as you go along in, uh, for the ranger class? As of the current items that we have. 
Uh, it, I think it's they're opting for trapper just based on progression. Ah. Uh. So you don't really have much like damage skills when you're still a sniper. You could use fast, which is the only AOE thing on like re- the sniper sniper class. Mm-hmm. And some people would choose like uh, trappers because uh, you, your build is mo- is mostly built on dex and int, which like ha- makes you self sufficient. And eventually, like mobs sub uh, sub 100 could easily be one shot, one hit with uh, traps. And oh. you could transition that to arrow storm anyway, because you you'd need int for like SP and cast time, dex for like damage. So it's like an easy transition still to uh, arrow storm build. Oh, okay. Uh, so you're saying, basically saying right now, um, you can progress as a hunter and a sniper, you know, as a trapper, sn- hunter and sniper. Then as you go for the third job, of course, you're still, you're, you need to go to the Arrow Storm build to progress further. Uh, Arrow Storm is a must, grinding wise, uh-huh. because uh, it, it offers a lot and requires so little. Mm-hmm. So basically, you because uh, if you could see this one, uh, the White Wing Armor set is like a thing you could purchase for less than 10M in the current state mm-hmm. and boosts your damage like greatly. Oh. Yeah, like 50% or more. And that's a level 100 skill. I mean, if you're, I think you could get Arrow Storm like level 102 or 103 or something. And you'd have your you'd open your like horizons to huge AOE, huge damage with little to no like requirements. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, okay. So um uh, thank you, Psyche, for your insight about the skills or the build that we have for the Ranger. So basically, um you mentioned earlier that Ranger is like a free to play friendly class in the meaning of that like you can achieve or get some late game items or end game items that uh can currently boost up your character in game without needing to spend anything right mm-hmm. okay yes uh, okay so yeah so uh, actually let's uh dive deep more into about that um so what are the current items that we can get in game that is unnecessary for the ranger class uh if you're new mm-hmm. you'd really want to get white wing set as i've mentioned that's i think sub 10 m the oh. whole set sorry Saiki, can i view your equipment yeah wait, wait, wait let me open this one okay sharing psyche's equipment on stream guys uh, <laughs> as you can see yeah. parts all of right. those are not mine uh, all right <laughs> Okay, yeah. So as a um as you're saying, like a free to play player, um, you know, Ranger is a very good class to start with. And um currently the items that you can get are cheap, right? So uh mm-hmm. you're saying that these items are currently or it can be um, you know, farmed in game. Uh since uh what's called this white wing sets can easily be farmed I say easily if you're like if you because you can basically farm mora coins this is from mora so you could like buy off buy the mm. white wing parts in mora and the quest is somewhat easy if you get used to it but you could also buy it off other people where uh, most people were just vending the items at per piece like sub 2m so mm-hmm. less than 10m and you don't really need upgrades on anything i mean you can start off without it mm-hmm. i started off without it and i later only bought like upgraded ones for enchant purposes oh so basically you can progress as a ranger even with the basic white wing set mm-hmm. ah okay well that is uh, good though uh, i will like okay we can demonstrate it especially we're already here but let me i i forgot one piece <laughs> okay. and i need to like <laughs> okay yeah. Um. So we have some comments here. Do rangers benefit from Maestro Braggy? Uh, yes, to some extent. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, uh, Arrow Storm has a fixed skill cooldown, like, like some like renewal skills. Mm-hmm. Uh, Arrow Storm has, I think, 
two, three, five, or something. I don't, I don't really know. But that's where your play style comes in. Because mm-hmm. uh, it, it in a way, it's synergistic to camouflage. Where I think you could like hover it on your skill tree, James. Camouflage is like a skill similar to cloaking, but better in a way mm-hmm. because it increases your damage the longer you are in camouflage. Oh. Actually, guys, um, just to share with you all, um, I don't really play rangers that much. <laughs> uh, I've been a Sura main ever since, actually. So, you know, some in-depth learning about rangers uh, also uh, helped me out right here. So, that's why we have Psyche to demonstrate and show us the way. The proper way <laughs> into being okay. a ranger. Yeah, show us the way. <laughs> Alright. So, I'll showcase this. Uh... Without White Wing set, you'd get this much damage on Arrow Storm. Uh, take note that I'm only level 113, and you're already getting, like, comparing mm-hmm. uh, early stages to other classes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rangers really have, like, a plus one compared to other people. So that's like 20 something K with without White Wing set, and this one is with White Wing set. Which like doubles your damage. Oh, and you can like you can have that much damage at level one hundred basically. Mm-hmm. But it's really that significant, right? With the white wing mm-hmm. set, and um, actually, you know, white wing set as you can as you said is uh, very much achievable in game, and it can be bought from the other players as well. So actually, um. Can you kind of share us where you can get the white wing set or can can be farmed? You know, as you said earlier, it was from Mora. So is it easily achievable or if you're going to or if, you, or if you're planning to farm it on your own? Uh, on your own, you might have trouble because uh, Mo- in a way, Mora is kind of weird because uh, the quest going to Mora is its own the re- level requirement is level 100. Mm hmm. But like the monsters there are like level 120, 130 something. So if you have friends or like people who help, who could help you out, you could easily farm more coins. Because uh the the coins can be farmed in Mora and it, there are quests there which gives you like ranges to like two coins to like 30 coins per day. Mm-hmm. So there's like partly RNG in that. And one piece of the armor set is, is I think, th- 10 coins. So if, like, if you're very lucky and you roll the highest, like, roll possible, you could easily get the whole set for, like, to get the whole set in two days. Oh, okay. So that's not bad. So like, I can also mention that huh? the armor is dropped by Anubis. And that is also true, which is why I mentioned that you could buy it off other people. Mm-hmm. The the only thing that isn't really dropped is garment and shoes. You could farm, technically, uh, the armor in Anubis and the accessory in uh, Abyss Lake and the dragons. Mm. So accessories and Anubis you can farm for the other parts you need to uh, craft using Mora, mm-hmm. right? Mora guys, yeah. Okay, so let's talk about the the weapons now since we're in the topic of the equipment yeah so for the weapons um some say it's better to use like a hunter bow for starting out okay this is where like the free to playness uh kicks in Mm -hmm. because uh when you job change to like hunter you'd be given like hunter bow and Mm -hmm. the hunter bow is if you open my elven bow is somewhat similar Except like Elven Bow is a better version of Hunter Bow combo. Oh, like, Elven yeah. Bow and Elven Arrow is a combo set, and that's the same for Hunter Bow. Mm-hmm. So you don't really need quote unquote to buy weapons for like Ranger. You could easily get by with Hunter Bow, but it would be nice to have like Elven Bow, because Elven Bow is mm-hmm. like an entry bow, which I think in the market you could buy it off like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten M. Uh, plus zero and that would like increase your damage on 50 percent like mm-hmm. if you use elven arrows so but what do you think about the metal bow right in our new user box 
So is it really a good bow, or should you just change it completely when you have the, uh, you know, the hunter bow or the elven bow? You'd ideally want to have a hunter bow, but metal bow has its like perks because like once you start off as hunter, and then once you like turn to like transcendent, mm -hmm. you could wear metal plus seven metal bow at level one. So that's where, in oh. my opinion, metal bow really shines. So like yeah, it's it's great as a starting item, but mm -hmm. when you reach uh, the the second job hunter and sniper, you'd normally want to transition into a hunter bow, right? Because it's yes, just yes, yes. technically better. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, okay. So um, yeah, we have like another question here. Uh, sorry, Muchi, I just saw this right now. What is still useful double strafe sharpshooter or aim bolt? I'm assuming this is for the ranger builds, right? <clears throat> Alright, uh, so, yeah. Each of those skills, now we can, we can mention this uh, one by one. Double strafe, even if you're a ranger, is somewhat useful. Because if you if you view the white wing set, it auto procs, uh, it auto procs double strafe. Mm -hmm. You could easily combo that with arch, uh, shadow, uh, archer shadow. Which mm -hmm. gives you. I currently don't have my Archer Shadow right now because I'm using the anniversary ones for level. Mm -hmm. But you could easily like pair it off with Archer Archer Shadow accessories, which gives mm -hmm. you, I think, uh, enormous amounts of damage per like upgrade level. But oh. you don't really want to use it manually. Uh, you can use it on the down times when you use Arrow Storm, just for like that extra boost. Uh, sharp shooting or focus Arrow Strike is somewhat useful still but the downside of this is like it you have like it would be this is where like kai mentioned that uh the question is rangers benefit from maestro braggy mm -hmm. this is where like aim bolt and focus arrow strike comes in you could like because uh mm -hmm. the cooldown for this skills unlike arrow storm which can be reduced by braggy so you could use this if you uh, crit rangers could use uh, focus arrow strike because uh, they have crit mods and like other uh, range mods people could use like aim bolt so those things still have value mainly because you could like use it without cooldowns if you have braggy ah okay so it's also beneficial for your you know the arrow storms right because mm -hmm. again um some some rangers level with the, their own parties and um Actually, we don't have a, 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 a maestro with us right now to test actually uh, to test out the the, the cooldown or the delay of um, arrow storm with at uh, braggy on right. <coughs> I'm sorry, but but yeah. Um, so uh, we talked about the gear for a little bit, and uh, knowing that it's um, you know free to play friendly, you can get almost get all our items in game um, easily. <laughs> And uh, let's actually talk about the stats. You know, uh, we said that there are two builds for the Rangers. So I'm sorry about my stats, guys. This is just, you know, for leveling just to level faster. I put all my stats into 99 Dex and 99 Agi and with 25 in. So sorry about that if you are... <laughs> if you are going to be bad about it. But yeah, um, Saiki, let's talk more about the stats of the Ranger. So yeah, for the Arrow Storm build or for mostly the AOE type of build, what stats do you recommend? What do you need when uh, you transition to into a ranger, and you know the benefits of having those stats? Uh, there are basically two stats you'd wanna get, especially early stage, because uh, that's Dex, and like I think there's three: Dex, Int, and Adji. So, mm -hmm. like we mentioned earlier, that you could either be Trapper, which you'd want to get in for that, for like one-shotting mobs, or like the double strafe builds where you need Adji to like spam double strafe. Mm -hmm. So, those are like the two stats. You you have 99 uh, Adji, 99 Dex, and th that's not really wrong. Because like you could easily push through that build to like Ranger. Because like, you could easily hit 193 with like basic stuff 
Because you have mm-hmm. like a free headgear that gives plus one attack speed at if you have like 120 AG. And Dex is a must to la- like have one at 120 because like that's your main damage purpose. Mm-hmm. Hint is like beneficial to Arrow Storm because like the cast time is somewhat horrendous if you don't if you don't have sound amplifier. So this is mm. where like you kind of have to kite kite the monsters with uh, your lo- very low cast time. Oh, uh, if you don't have int, right? For that one? Yeah, yeah, but that's where like Agi also comes in. Uh-huh. So you'd, you'd ideally have a mix of like stats for flea, cast time, and like damage. Mm. Okay, uh, actually speaking about the sound amplifier, we have a comment here coming from Jayco. Uh, can I use Finn's sound amplifier? I'm assuming that Storm's casting time can be interrupted, right? Uh, yes, because uh, one sound amplifier is like 50% cast time. Uh, some people would opt for two, so you have you can like release it with no cast time at all. And some people would would like because you have white wing set, and you can't mm-hmm. really wear two of those. So that's where like if you if you have Fen, you could easily like release your arrow storm without worrying about mm-hmm. it get it getting cancelled. Hmm. Actually, and Psyche, there... can you show us the difference of you know the arrow storm with and without okay, the sound okay. sound amplifier? Uh, this is with, I uh, without. I mean without. Sorry, that's the cast time without. Mm-hmm. This is the cast time with, with sound amplifier. That's like very. Like, there, it's a, it's gonna be a difference, especially if you're like on the field with monsters. Mm-hmm. Like every bit of cast time help would really like. Up, uh, could really like, make you go further. Cause you don't want to <laughs> die if you are like lot. Because ideally, you want to mob first before you release arrow star, making like making use of the AOE ness. Yeah, actually, Psyche, we have some visitors here. <laughs> yes, some actually, are yeah, yeah, yeah. They're actually you know testing out their build and whatnot. If you guys don't know where this is, we are at Islud, just at the top of the Creature Academy. You can test out your build here on uh, different elements of, um, you know, the eggs, right here. <laughs> All right, <laughs> okay, okay. For those GX and Mech, actually, my my question exactly, yeah. All right. Okay, so uh, we. Solonil said it's not just the gear that you have access to, but you also have access to holy and shadow arrows, for uh, you know as a ranger or as in as an archer class in general, right? Mm. Okay, so uh, mm. okay, okay, yeah. So knowing that you have access to all these elements, you can change up your style whenever and wherever you want to play. Um, let's talk talk about how and where to level up because that is the question that that's been bugging up you know a lot of people when they start out as a ranger you know they are level 99 or maybe they're level 100 they don't know what to do anymore they don't know where to progress so what's the ideal or where is the ideal level leveling spot that you need to go in order to progress your character uh most people would want to go to magma Magma Dungeon, mm-hmm. where the leaders and uh, those mobs are, because uh, especially on the weekends, there there's bound to be people partying there, mm-hmm. uh, and when when people are there, Bragi is there. Mm-hmm. So if you're if you're new, you don't have anything, you could like basically fly in and out of like Bragi's, and then you could it like boosts how you like grind, and you could make use of the AOE. Because uh, Arrow Storm like has a very huge AOE and like Magma has like it's a very dense map mm-hmm. where like mobs of three, four, five, six to ten would spawn in one spot. So you could like fly in and out, like Arrow Storm here, fly. That's that's like the the way you'd want to grind. But this is when you like un- unlock or um, have Arrow Storm level ten already, right? Mm-hmm. So starting out as level ninety nine, you would suggest you know just to suggest someone to like uh, go to magma rings first or go to stapo just to get some job levels yeah uh, pe- pe- uh people if you already reach like level 99 you mm-hmm. you know what you're doing you know like where to grind at, le- at least <laughs> hitting 99 so you could like continue a little bit more just to get more like just job mm-hmm. jobs 
could like have access to like arrow storm you need job seven for like level one arrow storm mm -hmm. you can start from there ah Once so have, level have... one arrow storm is already okay yeah uh yes because some people even use uh what do you call this uh would go to desert wolf because mm -hmm. uh desert wolf is also like mob yeah in mobby place that's where they like use arrow shower or like focus arrow strike to like kill them and then get jobs level that mm -hmm. jobs level that way and not to mention you could also if you hit level 100 already you could also use board quest to get jobs also mm -hmm. so like getting arrow storm isn't really that hard especially because it, it's much harder to get to level 99 rather than getting seven more job levels so so this but is I, even or you're okay with having like level one arrow storm without the white wing set assuming that your items are just like mine just the oh, okay. uh no let's say i have a hunter bow and hunting arrows yeah so assuming that your items are just like mine uh just the free items timekeeper set um the anniversary shadows since it's a uh, given away for uh you know for the meantime for new accounts yeah and without the anniversary sh pendants and balloons and a hat so just the anniversary shadows timekeeper set uh i have a hunter bow and green apple ring so it i can pro can i progress as a ranger in magma with level one arrow storm uh, this is this is me with no items except for the bow. You could open my equips mm -hmm. again. Uh, all I have is the bow. I'm, I'm not unequipping the sand dump because the that's just for cast time. It doesn't really mm -hmm. increase anything. Uh, Elven bow is somewhat similar to hunter bow, mm -hmm. just a bit better. And mine is like a bit a tad bit more because it's like plus nine and it has card already. Mm -hmm. So this is like level one arrow storm, and you'd be getting like 15k. Oh, uh, mon monsters around like level 100 are like somewhat on that range, and then if you're if you're doing like less than 15k, it doesn't really matter because like my ideology in this is like you'd either go like if you you could one shot it if you if you can't one shot it, just do your best to at least hit like 60%. So oh. you could only use you you could like two shot the monsters. You don't need to like over like exert yourself. Mm -hmm. Like if you if you don't need like push yourself that much, you just like cast it twice. Mm -hmm. And uh, like as I mentioned, like desert wolves for example are aggressive. So you can easily like run away with them. Rangers also have like inbuilt agi up, so mm -hmm. by windwalker. So you don't like it's not that hard kiting. And if you are like having trouble, I, I really suggest you practice kiting mo mobs. Mm -hmm. Like that's where like Arrow Storm like shines, having like very huge AOE with like little to no like requirement. Only arrows. But like for a safer route, like um for example they can out one shot magma, uh they can go desert wolf, you're saying. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh so, like, so maybe they can progress a little bit more until they get maybe Arrow Storm five, then they can one shot magma. Uh yeah. In in my opinion, even if you if you have decent cast time and if you can't like one hit mobs mm -hmm. it it doesn't it would still be better to go to magma because like you're not the only way you're not the only person there mm -hmm. so like people would finish off like mobs that you like had damage in mm -hmm. and in turn you'd be getting xp anyway so that's that's i that's why you ideally want to get level one r storm unless you grind magma instantly you'd be getting like you, you're gonna you're just gonna be you're gonna get exponentially better from there mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so at magma dungeon uh is from levels uh you can say 100 up to what level uh, uh it depends because uh on on the weekends for xp mode is there magma has like a tad bit better because uh monsters there are like level 105 to one 107 i think so you could stay you could ideally you'd be there like up to one 105 only because you have bonus if you have like 10 levels gap mm -hmm. in the monsters uh most people would like go to uh what's they call this duperos because it's also in a way the same where it's very mobby um you could easily like farm monsters there 
But uh, I think Demix be... will be a problem there, right? Uh yes, but this is where like like job levels come in. Because once you have access to camouflage, you could easily like because you can cast Arrow Storm on camouflage. Mm -hmm. And you can instant teleport once you like once you release the arrow storm. Uh, arrow storm. Yeah, it's ah. basically a cheesy way of grinding. Just release arrow storm, fly wing, release arrow storm, fly wing, until you get comfortable. Mm -hmm. So you're saying uh, ranger is also an easy class to level up, right? Uh, that's uh, yes. That's where the free to play mm -hmm. uh, kicks in. You d you don't really you're not engaging with mobs. You just like. Throw arrow storm fly, throw arrow storm fly, and you'd be getting XP that thing. Mm, you just need to make sure your arrow storm hits right before you fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. So actually, we have a comment here that um, I came up with a question because of that comment. Um, when when rebellion class comes out, that's a ter um, that's the next job of the gunslinger class, right? So how does it, how does a rebellion compare against a ranger? Uh, they don't have no limits. Ah, okay. So that, <laughs> that's your answer right there. <laughs> they have more damage technically, right? Because of no limits. Uh, they don't... They, uh, for this, uh, Gunslingers, I mean Rebellions in general, has a different playstyle. But in a way, somewhat similar also. Because uh, Rebellions have access to Round Trip, which is uh -huh. somewhat... Similar to like how you play Arrow Storm, you just fly round trip, fly round trip, and it's yeah. Someone mentioned Beyblade, and that's basically. Mm. Uh, that's basically it, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, let's actually move on from the topic, uh, Psyche. All right. Um. So after Magma Dungeon, after Juperos, assuming you have you gained up to level one twenty, maybe. Uh, from there, where can you level up? Or maybe 120, 130 or still Magma Dungeon. From there, where's where's the next leveling spot that you recommend for Rangers? It, it, this depends on like how diligent you are. Because uh, you could easily like do board quests at that at that level. Because like if you have White Wing set, Fly Wing, you could easily complete level 100, level 110, level 120 board quests. Except mm -hmm. for that annoying necromancer just because of stone skin but every every everyone else you could easily like like do it by yourself so most people like especially if you're like if you don't have that much time you could just do board quests and like some people even do it selectively they uh -huh. like, opt to do it do it on like uh first abbey only do audience audience only so it depends on like where they're comfortable but if you really want to grind, I would say like on 120, you could do uh, dragons. Ah, uh, uh, beast, beast lake. Okay. Yeah, that because that place also like gives you like decent loot. Mm -hmm. uh, then uh, let, uh, let's uh from for 10 levels. So abyss lake from 120 up to 140. One, no, 130. 130. Then from 130, mm -hmm. where? Uh, you could do bifrost map. Mm -hmm. But that one's a bit scary, cause uh, I mean, outside it isn't, cause uh, you're only fighting petals and men, but uh huh, yeah, uh, that place also decent on grinding, cause uh, they have loots that could give you like you could make money off. Uh, by first hour is like a place where you'd really want to grind, but that requires some like uh techniques in a way, cause like. Mm -hmm. Lich turns insta cast you with like magic skills and you don't have the H people like to tank those things. Mm. So if you're like if you're proficient enough with flying away, then, it then maybe you're be... good with Bifrost, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Because there's there's a window where you could like uh block those skills. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, when they're flying away, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Um, Psyche for for Bifrost, uh, you can level up from uh, in Bifrost at level 130 up to what level? 150? 175. You, you, you can finish there, right? <laughs> yeah, because the, the server didn't have any other options before. Uh -huh. So people were grinding to, at Bifrost until 175. Uh, but ideally, I though, think... um, 
Assuming that, you know, this is our current state right now, 130. Uh, we don't have the Pouring Island. Pouring Island was a thing before. That's, uh, you know, yeah, another thing that we can, we can do. But, uh, you know, uh, so, um, what we have in our roadmap, day dungeons are coming out. So mm -hmm. that can be also a good option for leveling up Rangers, I think, yeah? Uh, we don't know what yeah. it is. <laughs> we actually yeah. don't know what it is for now. There, some new people are kind of lucky because uh, they are recently patched in Varus, and uh -huh. that's where level 140 starts. Because like, you you like you spike on that place. Cause like, there's a daily grinds where you could get like lots and lots of XP, and the quest there is just like kill ten of this, farm ten of this, get like water from the ground and stuff. Uh -huh. And I'm not joking about the water part. Ah. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, well, um, so technically you can, you know, finish your level in Bifrost for 100 until 175 or maybe Varus, right? And maybe mm -hmm. you can farm some fuel tanks for that one just to, you know, gain a little bit of Zenny out of it. <laughs> Since the players are or, buying. Like, yeah, yeah. Blow yourself. <laughs> uh huh. But yeah, actually, that's an introductory for the Ranger and leveling a Ranger. I'm pretty sure for you guys, um, if you have any more questions about Ranger, just uh, drop it here, uh, drop it down here. Uh, this map, we are now at Islu, that Creator Academy. Just go at the top of Islu, just go inside, and uh, you'll see us at the upper left of the map. All right. So, actually, um, let's take a quick break right here, Psyche, as I'm going to have a little mini game for you guys, for you to guys, uh, for you to win some codes that you can use in game to boost your leveling up or level experience. All right. So the name of the game. Uh, but hold on to that thought. Let's actually, um, let's actually check if you guys are aware or ready for the game that we have. All right, so the game is going to be called, or the game is called Unscramble. All right, so all you need to, oh, I'll be showing an image or, uh, yeah, an image of a scrambled word on stream. And uh, you viewers need to unscramble and guess the word. First one to get the correct answer will win. Wrong spelling is wrong, of course, and rewards are to be given after the live stream. Just wait for the um, ROGGH page to message you for your um, codes. All right. So let's have a quick example for that one. So uh, this is going to be the first word. Are you guys ready? So just type in any letter or any word in the chat if you guys are ready for the minigame. Alright. <laughs> Almighty, you know, um, let's see what the, what the rewards will be. But uh, there will be in-game codes that you can use less for, for your, you know, for leveling and stuff. Yeah. Alright, so let's have an example of how the game will be. Okay. Uh, let's see now. Alright. So this is the first word. I'm going to be showing you a word again. All you need to do is to unscramble the word and type in in the chat. So this is just an example, guys. This is just a trial. Okay. This is just a trial. So the first word will be this one. Or the category is monsters. All right. Category is monsters. Ragnarok monsters. So first word is this one. All right. <laughs> just unscramble. Unscramble the letters in, until you form a word. All right. So what is what is the Ragnarok monster that we have shown right here? All right, just type in the chat, guys. All right, see, all right, we have a the first answer is Bahuet. Gabriel actually just said it right here. Gabriel, Christian, Paul, Clarence, Janelle, Psyche, <laughs> Jacob. All right, so you, you already know how the game works, right? So basically, that's how the game will work. First one to comment will win the prize. So first one to unscramble the words. The monsters are easy, so you can basically, you know, figure out, <laughs> figure it, figure it out easily. All right. The correct word is, or the correct monster is Baphomet. All right. Okay. So this is the actual real game right now. 
<laughs> this is not a trial anymore. That the Baphomet one is just a trial. Okay, so are you ready to start the game? <laughs> just type in anything in the chat, all right? Just typing anything in the chat. All right. Okay. So the first word or the first monster for our game is this one. So what monster is this one? A okay, first one to guess the correct answer or first one I actually see right here. Ooh, we have some answers already. We have some answers already. Okay. Okay, just type in the chat, guys. Type in the chat. And I'm checking who's the first one. <laughs> All right. Oh, Moira's. <laughs> what? What? That's a monster? Really? No. Oh, okay, okay. All right. So the correct answer is Siroma. Congratulations to Gabrielle for winning this one. Let me actually just screenshot this. Document it properly. All right. Congratulations, Gabrielle, for um, getting this monster right. All right. Okay. Next one. Okay, let's move on to the next word. So, the next monster is... What? Or Sami's? Zebra? <laughs> How can you scramble that one? It's Zebra. Come on now, Kai. Anyway. Okay, next monster is... This one. This is fairly easy. It's fairly easy, guys. I'm pretty sure you will be able to guess this one very easily. <laughs> oh my gosh, alright. Okay. Nice answers right here. Jigglypuff. Uh huh. Ah, okay. I'm mean, I'm checking your spellings right now. <laughs> ah. Papa Jake. Pinaka mabait. Shout out. All right. So, the correct answer for this one is Jeje Link. It's a jeggling guy. So th the first one who got the correct answer is actually Psyche. <laughs> so congratulations, Psyche. Psyche, you can talk, right? <laughs> You're here with me, though. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot I was on this. Congratulations, Psyche. All right. Uh, okay. For getting jeggling correctly. Jojo Watin. How is that a monster? All right. Okay. Next monster. Okay, let's get ready for the next monster. What's the next monster, guys? Um, okay, this one. All right, this is the next monster. Again, first one to unscramble the letters and uh, to come up with the monster name is going to be the winner. All right, wrong spelling is wrong, guys, so make sure your spelling is correct. So next monster is this one. What monster is this one? <laughs> Hopefully, I got the spelling correctly. Though. <laughs> the letters correctly. Okay, but I'm pretty sure this is um this is doable. Yeah. Oh, got some answers right now. Nice answers we have right here. Abysmal Knight, no. Grand Peko. Again, guys, wrong spelling is wrong. I'm checking your spelling, guys. I'm checking your spelling, all right? Wrong spelling is wrong. 
Okay. <laughs> Mandragora? How can, you, can you spell Mandragora with this one? How is that possible? Alright. <laughs> okay. Uh, Zyke, you can still join in, by the way, though, if you want to. <laughs> okay, so cor the correct answer for this one is a doppelganger. Congratulations, uh, Muchi Beat, for winning this one. Prince Brian actually got ahead of you, but his spelling was a little bit wrong earlier, and this was now edited for it to be correct. <laughs> Sorry, that won't work. I can see that you edited that out. But uh, just join the next one, all right? Okay, again, wrong spelling is wrong. Wrong spelling is wrong. So make sure you get it correctly the first try. Okay. So let's move on to the next monster. Next monster is this one. Ooh. <laughs> this is the next monster, guys. This is an interesting monster. That uh, is fairly noisy. <laughs> it's fairly noisy, yeah. Okay. Again, I'm checking your spelling, guys. Wrong spelling is wrong. Ooh, okay. What? Muchi, what? Jayco, that's a that's a different one. Hi, rhinoceros. Come on now, Kai. You're just coming up with uh, animals now. <laughs> Earlier it was zebra and now rhinoceros. Okay, and the correct answer is Kalitzberg. Congratulations to. Let me check it at two sources. Yeah, congratulations to. Psyche for getting this uh, one. Get the first. next one, get the next one. Oh, okay, so Psyche's gonna give away his prize. Again, Prince Brian, you just edited your <laughs> the other one. So the next one is Clarence. Congratulations, Clarence, for winning this one since Psyche wants to give it away. Alright, so getting the next one. So Clarence, this is for you. Alright. So Clarence, uh Congratulations to our clients, KD Coral. Ayan. Alright, congratulations. You just won uh, this one. Make sure to um, you know, check your messages later on after the stream. Um, we'll, we'll be sending you the codes after the live stream. Alright. Okay. <laughs> the, the spelling, guys. Make sure you get the spelling correct at the first try. Alright. And you don't, so you don't need to edit it out. Because I can see that if the post has been edited or stuff like that. Okay. Next monster is... This one. <laughs> Do you love how we scramble this word? <laughs> it's scrambled. I don't know this. <laughs> it's, a, it's a scramble word. <laughs> it's a monster, guys. It's a monster, all right. So make sure to get the correct monster name, all right. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> what <laughs> what monster is this one? All right. Okay, load the egg. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> this is a unique name, Gabriel. What are you talking about? I think he got it. <laughs> All right, I can see some monster names now. Oh, almost for uh, one guy. <laughs> really now, Gabriel? Really now? Really now? <laughs> okay. So the correct answer is scheduled. Congratulations to Jacob Pies for winning this one. Actually, Gabriel typed it earlier, but said he intentionally, quote unquote, intentionally made the sparing um, wrong. 
All right, congratulations, Jacob, for winning this one. Okay, let's move on to the next monster. Okay, Skeguild is um kind of like an uh, what do you call this? Uh, an egg, <laughs> an angel, an angel that looks like a pouring, but is a color brown or black, something like yeah, yeah. Gelatin esque. Oh, gelatin esque, yeah. <laughs> There's no monster named Bloody Egg, right? Okay, okay, guys. There's no monster named Bloody Egg. The only Lodi we have is Lodi Kai, okay? Okay, let's uh, have our next monster. So, the last two monsters that we have right here, okay? Again, wrong spelling is wrong. Make sure you get it correct. <laughs> the first try. <laughs> Alright, okay. Next monster is this one. <laughs> again, again, don't mind me how I how I scrambled the words. Okay? It's on purpose to get you all distracted on what the monster actually is. <laughs> R.I.P. I think it's working, not gonna lie. <laughs> Just to get it all distracted. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Some answers that we have right here. <laughs> Is it working now? Oh, okay. Some correct answers. Ooh. Oh, some nice answers, yeah. <laughs> you finally got it. You finally got it, guys. You finally got it. <laughs> anyway, the correct answer is skeleton. Okay, it's not a lost knee, guys. It, it's it's I I scrambled it that way on purpose just to get you all, you know, just for you guys to think. Because this is a combination of two words. <laughs> Alright, the correct answer is skeleton. Uh, Psyche added more words to the skeleton. Gabrielle actually got it correct. Congratulations to Gabrielle for winning um, the code for this one. Since he actually typed it in first, Gabrielle Cruz. Alright, congratulations, Gabrielle. <laughs> This is not a lost knee, and we don't have a lot of egg. Alright. Okay. So, let's move on to our next monster. Our last monster for tonight, for this minigame. Alright. So, the next monster is... This one. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure if you all can... Uh, guess this one this is a, a monster that you can fairly see early game it's quite common yeah but let's see if you can actually guess this one because it, by the way you look at the, the letters it's kind of distracting or you can't really get it at the first try but if you actually squeeze it out if you think a little bit more you can actually get it all right just uh type in your answers in the chat guys Oh. Meow meow. Hello, Gura. What's up? Oh, what's up? What's good? Yeah. Narnia said Muchi beat. Really? Is this the, the way to Narnia? Yeah. What? What do you mean, guy? <laughs> anyway, the correct answer is Drain Lear. And congratulations to Christian John Canonizado for winning this one. Congratulations, oh. the Drain Lear. Again, the correct answer or the correct monster is a Drain Lear. All right. Okay, so that's the last for our mini game for tonight. How do you like the mini games, guys? Um, in the previous week or previous uh, solo community stream that I had, I went for the the blurred monster cards. 
So which one do you like better? Do you like the unscrambled one better or the blurred monster cards? So I I, I have a title for these ones. It's monster cards and um, unscramble. All right. Three times wrong spellings with Prince Brian. Oh, unfortunately, yeah. Hopefully, you all like the mini games that we have. We're going to try and do this every community stream so that you guys will have fun, yeah? <laughs> it's also part of um, Ragnarok trivia, yeah? Okay, more challenging. You want it to be more challenging. Hmm. Actually, I have one more game in mind, but uh, we'll do that in the next community stream, yeah? Okay. All right. So uh, that's it for a mini game. Um, Psyche. To wrap things off, actually, since uh, we've been doing this for uh, more than an hour now, a little bit over an hour now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So last but not least, what are the pros and cons of a ranger? Again, pros. Um, you said it's easy to level, easy to farm items, easy to get items. Is it easy to probably do some instances? Uh, yes, because uh. Most instance instances are like level 120, like Ghost Palace, uh, Perlock Boots thing, a Gaffin Magic Tower. Mm -hmm. If you if you just do those daily, you could like get like stuff you could mm -hmm. sell off because gray shards is always needed. Uh, pros and cons for like Ranger in general, like pros is like you can basically do everything solo. I'm mean, not mm -hmm. everything like the grinding part, the instance part. You can do it so solo. You can, like, yeah, you're not really that dependent on like other people, but and then the cons would be when you reach like a higher level, mm -hmm. you like drop off compared to like other like classes because where you shine really is just the early game. Mm -hmm. Then most like other third job classes shine late game, and that's you you some people will like get turned off by that like i used to be strong before why am i not that strong now <laughs> used to uh, be strong <laughs> no, 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 so, i said that though you, you'd, you'd easily get out damaged by other people like uh -huh. they they eventually be uh that on par with you that's why like that's the best thing about ranger because they could easily like i mentioned it's a free to play thing mm -hmm. you could use it as a first character you don't need to like get as much compared to other classes mm -hmm. you can use it as a farming like character do stuff yourself learn about the game blah blah, blah. Mm -hmm. but a cons of this is like uh, arrow storm has a fixed cooldown which mm -hmm. is like most some classes like we we can't benefit from excellion at all that's like the most recent ah, thing that that came out yeah. yeah yeah and most people like arc case for example other like rolling cutter if let's call that job uh built in cross yeah has been it has been benefiting like from the excellion sets uh rangers on the other hand didn't really because the mm -hmm. uh, arrow storm i th i think that would change if we have like reworked version of like aimbolt but that's like mm -hmm. too far in the future mm -hmm. but it, it 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 you you do fell off compared to your peers but it, it's not that much no because mm -hmm. uh where rain where ranger really shine is like how you play it like you don't but like if you compare like rangers versus uh guillotine crosses mm -hmm. if you knew someone who who mains guillotine crosses you just ask them how much poison bottles have you bought ah so it's ex uh, it's a little bit less expensive than a guillotine cross, yeah, yeah like maintenance isn't that much mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that's why like it's you could like basically run it free and then and there are still some things that could you could easily say that cons like generally ranger classes archers in general have low hp pool like those are the normal things but like actually let's actually uh break it down lower hp pool if you don't have strength probably low weight limit you can't yes, carry uh, that much potions like stat wise you you're uh, you have bad strength because like most people won't get strength but mm -hmm. i would honestly suggest you get at least 30 20 something mm -hmm. it would like help a lot just uh, to get with... your weight limit up right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh with you don't really get that much but ideally you'd also want to put in because like resistance from stun is like that's the only reason you want and like we don't mm -hmm. get 
uh, much boost on HP, but like the resistance you get is like very valuable. Mm. Uh, Dex is a given. RG is like get at least 90 because you could make use of bravery bag and other stuff. Mm. And you don't really want to not have RG as a ranger because like you, it's kind of it, it's kind of weird in my opinion. Yeah, it's kind of weird. But anyway, uh, Saiki. Not- uh the last question maybe uh before we end um things for tonight after our reminders again later um this is a question i've been um i've been seeing a little bit lately okay so um we had a new item came out uh, a new item came out like the murasaki odoshi so is it what's better is it uh murasaki ito odoshi or the white wing suit just to clarify things for the people who have both. Right. Uh, we can showcase this actually. Because uh this is uh it's gonna it's it's gonna differ in damage. Because uh if you open my equipments you can see this is like my grinding set. Mm-hmm. And it's more than enough for like monsters in my level range. Because so I have double sound amp. Uh, Murasaki to boost range, uh, Halo to boost range, mm-hmm. and you could insta cast Arrow Storm, and you'd be getting like 30 something K damage. Mm. If you wear a uh, White Wing suit, you'd have more damage, but with the down, uh, but you're, you're losing like cast time. Ah, so there are some monsters who have monsters in your level range that are less than like 30 K HP, so you'd you'd honestly want to get like like it's safer to have no cast so it's like situational because uh you can't really beat uh white wing set in terms of arrow storm i think you can if you use like that expensive thing the classical feather classical feather yeah that's that's (laughs) like another discussion so there is like it's i think it's basically on use case so it uh, uh, basically, or the the items, or Murasaki or Whiting depends on the build. Basically, it's it's like not, that, right? Not not necessarily. Uh, what what I always want to say is like, why not get both? Because you'd you'd benefit from it anyway. Because like, as I mentioned earlier, that if you can't like one hit KO a thing or a monster, you you your only aim is to get sixty percent. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> And Murasaki might be the thing that could boost you from 50% to 60%. Mm. And at the same time, you have no cast. So, like, there's, like, situationally pros and cons and things. Uh, so, it would, like, it would change or, like, it would be, like, a preference and who owns it. Mm-hmm. Like, so, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, Psyche, it depends on, uh, maybe you can say it depends on how you use the said your item. Playstyle. Yeah, your play style. Mm-hmm. Okay, so actually, Psyche, um, thank you for answering that question because uh, I've been seeing some people ask about it. Um, you know, White Wings with or Murasaki Ito Odoshi, uh, and yeah, the, I hope that answers the question for some people out there who are wondering, you know, what's the better item to use for a Ranger class. All right, so um, actually, guys, um, we don't have enough time right now. <laughs> but um we are going to end our stream with just a bit but just but just to share with you guys if you want to know more in-depth details about a ranger class you can head on to psyche's page or channel it's twitch.tv slash psyche ph make sure to check him out he's a, one of the official rogh streamers so make sure to check out a psyche's um twitch page uh, twitch.tv slash psyche ph all right hopefully i got the link correct psyche yes, yes yes all right so is that one make sure to visit the streams uh make sure to check it out you can ask him some questions about rangers some in-depth discussion about rangers there as well and yeah you can see how a ranger main plays the game all right okay so uh thank you again psyche for uh, joining us tonight Mm-hmm. Anything you want to say to our viewers? Uh, thank you for having me. And again, as James mentioned, I'll usually be streaming on the weekends. I mean, Saturday, like from afternoon to evening. So if you guys want to like come and join, ask questions, like have clarifications and stuff, I don't really mind if you like, go there and ask. All right. So we good. We good. Okay. Thank you, Psyche, for um, the Ranger 
introduction to our reviewers right here. Okay, just qu some quick reminders for you all uh, before we end our stream. Uh, there tomorrow there will be a maintenance, so make sure to um, you know get ready for that one. From it's going to be from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, GMT plus eight. So make sure to um, get yourself set and ready for the maintenance. The patch notes were already posted at the Discord of ROGGH. So if you haven't joined a Discord yet, make sure to join in as well because tomorrow we'll also be having the Tofi Talk first day hosted by Lodi Kai, our Injustice cosplayer, ROGGH moderator. So make sure to check it out. Tofi Talk is every 9 p.m. on Thursdays. All right. Uh, one more reminder is... Um, the Happy Egg Festival items. So if you still have a Happy Egg Festival items in your inventory or, um, you know, that are not yet, not yet used or the Clover tickets, if you still have them, make sure to uh, exchange them all before the maintenance tomorrow because tomorrow will be the last day for the Happy Egg Festival items. Um, and uh, yeah... Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that will be it. Yeah. Uh, make sure to uh, follow our socials as well. Uh, we have our Discord, as I mentioned earlier. We also have our Twitter, Twitter.com/slash/Ragnarok underscore GGH, and uh, join in on our ROGGH community group. It's Facebook.com/slash/Group/slash/Ragnarok Online GGH, and of course the official ROGGH website where you can see everything right there it's ro.gnjoy.asia also guys ram is coming up soon so make sure you stay tuned for that it's regular Asia master season two hope you all are ready for that and if you guys have uh um, if you guys joined in or are you're competing for the ragnarok asia masters do your best <laughs> good luck all right okay so that's going to be it for tonight's community stream Hopefully, you all enjoyed our mini games and uh, the Ranger introductions and um, mild spotlight that we had tonight. Again, this is James, your host for tonight. See you again next time. Same place, only here in ROGGH. All right. Good night, guys. Bye, guys. GG. GG.